Hello, my name's Amanda and oh my gosh, it has been such a long time since I've been able to sit down and chat with you all. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Life on this side of the camera is good, busy, but very, very good. So I thought since it's been such a long time since I've sat down and had a little bit of a chat to the camera, I thought we would catch up on my monthly favourites. I haven't done one in two months. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my April and May favourites. So let's get straight into it with some beauty favourites and because winter is now well and truly here in Australia, that for me means very dry and horrible hands and because I'm doing a floristry course at the moment it means I'm working with water all the time and that also just dries out my hands quite a lot as well. Now this is a product that I have shared with you before and it's this one from The Body Shop. It's their Hemp Hand Protector and this is like my lifesaver hand cream in winter. It is so thick and luscious and it just helps my hands so so much. It's also really good for like dry cuticles and nails and it just makes my hands feel all soft and smooth and non-drying which is what you want out of a hand cream really. And I absolutely love the scent of this one as well. I know a lot of people don't but I just find this one really like homey and comforting and just really lovely. It just reminds me of winter and being at home and being comfortable and um, yeah happy I guess. Another beauty favourite has been this one, it is called Lucas Pore Pore Ointment and I have been using this on my lips which have been really dry and chapped over the last couple of months. It's pretty much because of the cold weather, because it's been a little bit windy and also I'm always in air conditioned type rooms when I'm at TAFE and also when I'm here at home so my lips don't really quite like that and putting this stuff on just takes away that horrible stingy kind of feel that you get when your lips are chapped. This stuff is just really, really great. It's also really good to put on like little cuts and nicks that you get on your hands as well, which is a nice little life tip for you. And it's also really good for like pimples and stuff on your face, but yeah. <laughs> My other beauty favorite is this beautiful nude nail polish by Revlon. I have been sticking to a lot of nude shades when it comes to my nails. Because I'm doing floristry, it sort of does kind of not really leave your nails in quite a nice looking state. I'm not going to show you what they look like right now because they look horrible but I've just found by putting a nude sort of colour on my fingernails when it chips you can't really tell but it also still just gives a really nice sort of shine and just a little bit of niceness to my hands and this was just a really cheap nail polish I picked up at Target. I think it's because it's the range has finished or something. I'm not really sure whether it was a limited edition. It looks like a limited edition because of the really fancy uh, detail on the little handle which I absolutely love. The colour of this one is 705 in grey suede and it is just such a beautiful beautiful natural looking colour and it dries really quickly. I only have to do one coat which is like yes because I hate doing second coats when it comes to doing nail polish because who can be bothered? has the time for that but yeah this has definitely definitely been a favorite it just made me feel a little bit more I guess girly when it comes to having nice hands and fingernails my next favorite up is a quilt block that I have absolutely been loving making over the last month or so just because it has been such a quick block to go to when I just sort of have this fever or a craving just to get into my sewing room and just zone out and sew. This block is so simple to piece and cut and everything else and it's this one that I'm calling the Simple Cross Block. During my Everyday May blog series I actually shared with you a tutorial on how to make this block. There is a link to that post in the description box below if you would like to learn how to make it. Also during the Everyday May series on my blog I also showed you a few of the other sort of designs I made using this block as well as also discussing some of the future plans I have when piecing these blocks together. So if you want to check that out there's also a link to that as well down below. Now speaking of my Everyday May series on my blog, my other favourite this month, or during May anyway, has been my blog. Since the start of this year, life has been just a little bit hectic and I got really guilty about not spending enough time writing on my blog. So I dedicated May to trying to write a blog post every single day and just sharing everyday life with you and some cruelty tips and tricks and, you know, all the 
goings on in my sewing room. I think the series was quite successful. I did miss a couple of days because of different reasons, but I really enjoyed the process of coming home every day and writing and just sort of pushing myself to getting things done and sharing with you. Yeah, also interacting with a lot of you and just really spending some real good quality time concentrating on my blog and getting it up to a standard which I'm happy with, uh, which I am now, I think. So if you would like to go back and check out all of the posts and things that I was writing about in my Everyday May series, there is a link to all of the posts that I wrote down in the description box below. And just feel free to go and scroll through and read whatever takes your interest. That was a little bit of a, a rambly moment, sorry. Moving on to tea. I love tea. You know that I love tea. And a new flavoured tea that I bought this month was this one from T2 and it is called Mint Mix. And oh my gosh, when it says Mint Mix, it means Mint Mix. In here it has peppermint, spearmint and lemon verbena leaves and it is just incredible to drink and smell and just everything. I mean, it just it smells so strong and fresh and delicious. The best time that I love to drink this is after dinner, just as sort of like a nice warming, refreshing drink and it's loose leaf which makes the flavour 10 times better in my opinion. My next favourite up is a cookbook or baking book that I rediscovered again this month and have just absolutely loved flicking through and looking at all of the delicious and beautiful things that they have in there and it's this one by Frankie Magazine, it's called Afternoon Tea. I'm not sure whether this is still available or it's even available to ship to other countries but it's such a beautiful set out book it's really sort of like really kitsch and like 50s and oh it's just delicious I really just love how the book's been set out it has such simple to do and easy recipes in it and all of them have beautiful sort of photographed type um, pictures with it and I just love the colors and the backgrounds of the way that they've sort of set it up and styled it. I have actually made a couple of things in here this month and taken inspiration from a couple of things in here because I love baking in my spare time when I have the time and I just sort of need to stress and chill out from life. Uh, baking is what I do and then you just sort of like get to cure all life stresses when it comes out of the oven by eating it which is the best thing ever. Another favourite that I wanted to share with you is actually a flower that I've discovered in class over the last month and I've just been really obsessed with it and have just, I don't know, I just sort of look at it and think, how are you a flower? You are just amazing. And it's these little things and they have the best name ever. They are called Billy Buttons and they are an Australian native and they're pretty much just like... I don't know, like little lollipops or something. They are just so adorable and gorgeous. So essentially they're just like this little hollow type sort of ball on top of a really thin woody stick and they are just, I think they're just wonderful. It really just amazes me at how anything like this in nature can grow. I'm just sort of transfixed at the beautiful bright yellow that it is as well as the type of texture and um, interest that it adds to a floral design. So I don't know whether you can see but I've had them in my little vase in behind me. I'm going to put them back in so that maybe you can see the difference that they make. I think they just add such a wonderful pop of colour to an arrangement and a design and just the shape is just amazing and uh, when we saw them in class and learnt what they were called we were all like oh my gosh it's so sweet. So I've just been having lots of fun using them in class and just really really loving them. So that's everything that I have to share with you for my April and May favourites. I know it's a little bit late but you know it's never, no it's always, what is it? Better late than never. Better late than never. Do let me know some of the things that you've been loving over the last couple of months. Comment down below. I would love to know what they are. If you would like to see more of the things that I do here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you come and join us. And as always, friends, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye.